this down. So we can get rid of that. So a little bit more gradual than the hat that we created earlier, which was mostly just sound at the end, which is, you know, it's a good effect, but the crash is a little bit more gradual. Cool. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and go ahead and move on to pattern 8. And we're going to get go ahead and add a new orange string. So we're going to have left click, drag that over, stop the noise. And what we're going to do for this one in the effects thing, because it's going to be on a different channel, here's channel 1, and you can add it to channel 1 even though it's a separate instrument, so it now it sounds exactly like the first one we created. But we're going to go ahead and add it to channel 2 and start adding you know, different effects. All right, so the first one we're going to add is going to be the fruity filter. What that does is it makes it so the best way to do it is just to show you. For this pattern, we're just going to add, let's see, we're going to do C3. Where's that going to be? So it's going to be a little bit lower. All right, C3, B, For these, I'm also going to highlight them again, just like I did, and just cut off that last little bit. So it's it's got a little bit of a missing space and a little bit of dimension. And what we're going to do in a couple of seconds, it will just make it sound a little cooler and blends in a little better. And add a couple more notes here just to finish up this part. Okay, cool. And these are just going to be half notes, so sort of following a similar thing that we did earlier where it drops off but less noticeable because it's just a backup lower bass, but it's not bass obviously, but it sounds deeper than what we had. Alright, we're going to go left click, double click on the FX again. Now we're back where we were, Fruity Filters, what we just added a couple of seconds ago. Next we're going to add the, the HQ and you'll be able to round it out and we're just going to mess with it. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this. It basically, it's an EQ and I'm sure a lot of people have had hopefully some experience with it. With an EQ, not necessarily editing your uh, music, but if you're in iTunes or something like that, they have a little EQ where you can just, you know, change it if you want a more bassy sound in your music. Say you're playing techno or dubstep. You can have a bassier sound where if you're playing rock, you can make the, the guitar sound better. You don't need as much bass and rock, that kind of stuff. That's basically what the EQ is going to do. And except you're only dealing with one instrument in this case, you can add multiple instruments to it. But for now, uh, we're just going to do one instrument. I'm going to I'm going to mess around with it a little bit. You're not going to hear too much of a difference. But with different things, especially in dubstep, if you're using this, it, it'll make a, a, a much cleaner sound once you fine tune it. So, there's a little explanation of that. Alright, so EQ, and then we're going to go ahead and add another phaser, which is what I showed you a second ago. Cool. Alright, so now we have a phaser on this. Uh, we've got fruity filters still up here, and also the EQ. Cool. So, here's what we got for this pattern so far. Alright, sorry about that. This should be good. Alright, cool. So the last thing we're going to do with this particular pattern is now that we've got that the notes and the sound and everything that we want, actually we're going to go ahead and go into the EQ just a little bit. I'll just drag it down, drag it up so it drops off a little bit. Another thing cool about this EQ is if you're doing a kick or something like that, it already has a couple presets if you're just starting out. Uh, you can go to click the kick preset. Uh, you can see the different, you know, vocal, whatever whatever sound you're adding. There, there are a couple recommended presets that you can use until you get the hang of doing things 
on your own completely from scratch. We have the sounds that we want and everything. The last thing we're going to do with this one is I don't want it just to sound plain like that. But instead of adding instead of adding the gross beat which we've already discussed, I'm going to go ahead and mess around in this. The channel settings right here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and click on see where we did volume before with the kick which was up here. See where we did that kick. That's what we did a little earlier a little earlier. Uh, click on the orange string still. No. Instead of volume, we're going to head and use cut. Alright, so if you click on the cut button, we're not going to mess with any of this stuff for now. We're going to go jump down here. Alright? So for the attack, that's going to just see the waves pretty much similar to what the volume did, but it's going to instantly start playing the whatever patterns in here. And for now, we're just going to use a squared sound. And we're going to make the amount, turn the amount all the way to the right. So the attacks, pretty much drag your mouse down. Like hold, left click, hold, drag your mouse down. The amount, click, hold, drag all the way up. You can see the knobs. Make this one all the way left and this one all the way right. All right, so for speed, you can go in and really, really fine tune the speed. But to get it perfect as far as on specific beats, what you can do is right click this and click and hover down to where it says set and we'll go ahead and try two steps and see what that sounds like so go ahead and left click that so that's going to break up the sound same thing we did in gross beat essentially so it's playing the note stopping playing stop playing stop on the whole note but it's within our effects it's a little different because you can get into a couple other things but for now that's what that is Cool. And for example, I'm using two step, and that's what we're going to use. 